Hi everyone, welcome to its tomorrow news. I am Hena Talati. A tropical disturbance is being tracked in the Atlantic Ocean. A tropical disturbance is being tracked in the Atlantic Ocean for the first time since Hurricane Barrel's assault on the Texas three weeks ago. According to the National Hurricane Center, a large tropical wave centered several hundred miles east of the Lesser Antilles is producing limited shower activity due to the environmental dry air. Conditions are forecast to become little more conducive for the development over the warmer waters of the southwestern Atlantic Ocean and a tropical depression could form late this week while the system is in vicinity of the Greater Antilles and the Bahamas. The NHC said in its latest outlook. The odds of development have been slowly increasing since the weekend and currently stand at the 60% chance over the next 7 days. If the disturbance develops, computer forecast model shows a variety of outcomes for where it will track and how strong it will become. Any interaction with the mountains on larger Caribbean islands will play a key role in the systems organization, the Fox Forecast Center said. Two large areas of the high pressure, one over the southern plains and other anchored in the Atlantic near Bermuda could decide whether the system curls up in the eastern seaboard, heads for Florida or stays south and track into the Gulf of Mexico. For now, the fact is that it will move in the general direction of the Florida or southeast coast late this week and into the upcoming weekend. If the system strengthens into the tropical storm, it will be named Dabby, the fourth named storm of the 2024 Atlantic hurricane season. An area from the eastern part of the Dakotas to Kentucky and the portions of the Tennessee will be hotspot for the thunderstorms and likelihood of the rounds of the severe thunderstorms for the multiple days this week. AccuWeather meteorologists warn that some locations may be affected by one thunderstorm every day through Thursday. Others may be blasted by the multiple storms per day. However, the potential exists for the severe thunderstorms to roll through some communities which can be damaging. In less than 12 hours, Des Moines, Iowa was blasted by two rounds of the severe thunderstorms on Tuesday morning. Gust close to 60 miles per hour occurred in the first round before daybreak but the gust close to 50 miles per hour occurred in the storms during the midday hours. Approximately 80 million people will be in the region where the thunderstorms can occur into Tuesday night. And that's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news. For more global weather updates like this, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for regular updates.